everyone, and welcome to the October 2021 episode of the NBA's Smash Hit video program, All Around Newtown, the most popular video program in all of Bucks County. I'll be your host today, Matt Peters, and today on All Around Newtown, we're going to be sitting down for an interview uh, at the Insurance Shops headquarters down in Trebos uh, with someone who you may know very well. You may have seen him at an NBA business card exchange or a breakfast meeting. He's been an NBA member for as long as I can remember. Uh, the one and the only Ron Hyman from Insurance Shops, as you can see over my shoulder right there. There he is. Uh, and when we sit down with Ron, we're going to be talking about uh, questions about open enrollment, uh, other insurance questions. And uh, before we get to that, though, I would like to go over some quick NBA member announcements. So the first NBA member announcement we have is the, upco uh, the upcoming October breakfast meeting, which will be on October 28th at 7.30 a.m. Uh, that will be at the Bucks County Association for the Blind and Visually Impaired. The sponsor of that will be insurance shops, Ron Hyman. Uh, and for that, you can register online to attend in person, or you can also attend via Zoom if you feel more comfortable attending virtually. Uh, the registration link is on the NBA's website, newtownba.org. The next Emerging Leaders Happy Hour is going to be on Friday, November 5th from 4 p.m. to 6 p.m. That's going to be another in-person event at Triple Sun Spirits. And we invite you to come on out for some non-pressure networking. We also invite you to uh, encourage some of the younger members of your business to go out to those events and to uh, grow their network and to meet other young entrepreneurs and business owners and business people uh, in the Newtown area. The next business card exchange will be on November the 10th, and that will be from 5 until 7 p.m. That will be at Bucks County Community College, and the sponsors uh, include Day-to-Day -Day Financial, Apex Home Loans, and also Lily's Chocolate Paradise. So once again, that's an in-person event. You need to register online for that, newtownba.org. The next All Around Newtown episode will premiere on November 18th at 11 a.m. on Facebook. Uh, from there, it will be shared to and posted to the NBA's Instagram and YouTube page. In All Around Newtown and in this video program, you'll see NBA members speak on a variety of subjects uh, on the NBA Facebook page. And like I said, it'll be shared to some of those other websites after the third Thursday of each month at 11 a.m. So this month uh, for November, we're actually going to do a very special feature piece for the upcoming McCaffrey's uh, Newtown Holiday Parade. The NBA uh, is going to be doing a holiday parade in the beginning of December. I'll get to that because I have more announcements about that in a second. But we're going to be looking at uh, a lot of fun stuff. I don't want to spoil the surprise for the video yet, but you definitely don't want to miss this one. And while I'm on the topic of the holiday parade, registration to participate and to purchase a sponsorship is still open. So if you want to participate in that, or if you want to go so far as to support it with a sponsorship, um, go to the NBA's website, newtownba.org, and uh, you can get signed up on there. The parade is going to be held on Sunday, December the 5th. So space to participate in it and also space to sponsor it is limited. So you want to do that now. You want to go and sign up for that right now for the NBA McCaffrey's Newtown Holiday Parade. Uh, also, we want to remind you to check, a, check out the NBA Business School podcasts on our website, newtownba.org. You can also find them on Anchor, Spotify, or wherever you get, you get your podcasts. And if you'd like to be a part of a new NBA Business School podcast, all you have to do is just reach out to Rodney Warner and he can get you set up for that. And then the last announcement I have is to opt in for text reminders and updates from the NBA by texting the phrase NBA to the number 844-574-6291. That number one more time is 844-574-6291. Just text the phrase NBA to that number and you can get all of the text reminders and updates about all the upcoming events. And if you have any other questions or if you need to find that number again, it's on our website, newtownba.org. Okay, so we got, all those, uh, we got all those announcements out of the way. So let's get down to why you're really here, which is the interview that we did with Ron Hyman at his office on Bustleton Pike in Trevos. Let's head on down there. Let's talk to Ron and let's see what he has to tell us about open enrollment this month. Let's go. Hello, everyone, and welcome. Uh, we are on location here today for All Around Newtown. 
Uh, actually, we're a little bit outside of Newtown. We're out in Feasterville on Bustleton Pike at the insurance shop's home office here on Bustleton Pike in Feasterville with Ron Hyman. Oh, come on. I could throw a rock to Newtown from here. We're so close. It was a very <laughs> short drive to get here in the morning. Um, so, yeah, thank you for having us in and for letting us uh, set up and record and, and do an interview with you, Ron. Thank you for coming. Yeah. And the Newtown Business Association is an amazing organization. I've been a member for years, and I, I go to everything. I enjoy everything. The people are fantastic. And if you're not a member, you should be. You're missing out. I agree. Yes. So, welcome to my, uh, my place. Um, I know we're in the back room here, but... Um, yeah, we have the employees will be in soon. We're, we're early before the store opens. And uh, at the insurance shops here, we do all kinds of insurance. People know me best for health insurance. And we are, at this time of the year, a couple weeks out from open enrollment. Um, do you know what that is? I was actually just going to ask. That's going to be one of my main questions is I hear you talking about it at a lot of like the NBA networking events. And you'll say, hey, open enrollment's coming up soon. Make sure you're ready. What, what is open enrollment? So there are two open enrollments. Um, one is for the seniors, and that starts October 15th, which is only a couple of weeks away. And right after that is open enrollment for everybody else in November. Mm -hmm. So the whole premise of open enrollment is looking back at what is insurance. And um, insurance works with the law of large numbers. If everybody enrolls in it, then everybody pays into it, the sick and the healthy, and there's money there for the sick people because you have the healthy people paying in too. If you didn't have certain periods to enroll, nobody would enroll until they were actually sick. So they came up with the idea, let's do just certain periods a year, and for Medicare, it's six weeks, where you can enroll in any plan that you want, seven weeks, I'm being told, and you can enroll in any plan you want or change your plan during that time. Once open enrollment ends, you're locked in for the next year. So if you choose not to enroll, you don't have insurance for the year. That's your incentive to enroll and get insurance at that time. And that's what open enrollment is all about. So if you miss the boat, then you are completely you out are of You are uninsured, then. correct. And, and in today's, especially with COVID going on, I mean, if you get COVID and you spent a week in the hospital or even, God forbid, a month in the hospital, you're looking at a million dollars worth of bills. Wow. How are you going to pay for that? You're bankrupt. So for you know, whatever the insurance costs, it's pennies compared to the risk that you take. And I tell people every day who come in here that say, I'm healthy. I never have an issue with any insurance. And what do I need insurance for? Well, the issue becomes that what if the, the, you know the wrong the, the what is wrong with their thinking is that we're all human and they're all getting where everybody's getting older nobody's getting healthier so you have to have insurance to cover you and and basically everybody pays in you don't want to use your health insurance ever that means you were sick you don't want to use your car insurance it means you had an accident you don't want to use your home insurance you had a fire or, or a theft or something you don't ever want to use any insurance thank god we have it um, and I am an expert with it. Uh, I've been doing it for years. I've helped thousands of people out with it. And I'm going to take a little time right now and go over Medicare itself. Um, we're all used, uh, people that are under 65, we're used to how health insurance works. You have deductibles, which is the amount of money that you pay before the insurance company pays anything. And then you have co-pays, which after the, your deductible, you may it may be 20% where you're responsible, or sometimes co-pays might be $20 to see a doctor, and up to a certain level. When Obamacare was put into place, they came out with something called a maximum out-of-pocket. Everybody has that now. That's our fail-safe. Before Obamacare, and you had health insurance, and if you got sick, you can be paying forever. And the biggest cause of bankruptcy in the United States before Obamacare was people that had insurance and then got sick and ended up bankrupt. Obamacare ended that with the out-of-pocket maximum. It's a, it's a universal number for most people. It's around $8,000 this year. It creeps up every year a little bit. But 
if you are in the hospital and have a million dollar bill and you have to pay eight thousand dollars in all your expenses it's not going to bankrupt you it's you know it's a small car payment that you can pay off in a couple of years you can negotiate it but you're not going to end up bankrupt that is why you buy insurance if you're going to gamble and not get it there's a casino right up the street and, and literally your odds are better up there than than with the health insurance so let's talk about medicare for a little bit okay. and why medicare is a little different I hand this out to all my clients, and I give them a Medicare 101 on what Medicare is and how it works. So in a nutshell, there's two parts to Medicare that you get from the government. And, and Medicare, believe it or not, we all pay into it. You know, we see the Social Security deductions on our paychecks, and what does that pay for? Okay, so when you hit 65, because we paid into it our whole lives, Actually, it's 40 quarters. If you work 40 quarters in your life, which is about 10 years, you get Medicare A for free. Medicare A only covers the hospital if you get hospitalized. And it doesn't even cover the whole thing. Um, you have a deductible of $1,484 for each time that you go to the hospital. You know, if you go to the hospital a lot of times, it, it can cost you some money. And again, that only covers the hospital. Part B, you can buy. Part B covers your doctors and your testing, okay? Part B, what you pay the government for Part B is based on your income. Most people who, who like a single person making $88,000 or less, or a married couple making $176,000 or less, is going to pay $148.50 for their Part B. What Part B covers is your doctors and your testing. There is an annual deductible of 203 That creeps up every year a little bit. And after the deductible, Medicare pays 80% of those bills. Okay, so if you go, like I said, if you go in a hospital and you have $100,000 of bills and you're responsible for 20%, you're still in trouble. That's where we come in. Now you have a choice of two things. You can get a supplement, and the supplement, the government standardizes these supplements. There's a dozen of them, and you can choose, they're lettered A, B, C, all the way up to N, and you can choose a supplement. No matter which company you choose, if you choose, I'll pick on Plan G, that's the most popular, Plan G, um, it's the most popular because it covers everything on the sheet except for the 203 deductible. So if you take a Plan G, you're gonna pay for your supplement approximately $150 a month, and then everything else is covered except your annual 203 deductible, okay? Supplements don't come with a drug plan, though, so you have to buy your drug plan separately. And again, here's where the more confusion comes. There's 35 different drug plans, and they range in price from $7 up to $250. Well, why would someone get a $250 drug plan versus a $7 drug plan? And that's based on the drugs that you take. Mm -hmm. So what we do is we calculate, and people bring us lists of their drugs, and we will put into the computer the drugs that you take and calculate how much are you going to pay at the pharmacy for those drugs on every one of the 35 plans, add it all up, come to a total, and once we hit the total, we're going to say, okay, this plan is going to be cheaper than that plan based on the deductible that you pay, the premium, and the cost of the drugs at the pharmacy, which is the biggest part. Okay, seniors should do that every year. And we can't stress that enough. There's people that come in here that say, oh, I'm taking the $7 plan. And when we look at the cost of their drugs, they're paying seven or $8,000 a year for their drugs at the pharmacy. Yeah. And we'll say, well, if we put you on a $30 plan, instead of paying seven or $8,000 at the pharmacy, your cost is only gonna be $1,000. Makes sense. Mm -hmm. When you add it all up, they've now saved $5,000. And what happens is every year the drug plans all change, and of course the drugs that you take change. So seniors that are just blow it off and don't do anything, a lot of times they're in trouble. And that's a service that we offer for free. We, we actually bring in physician assistants in here, pharmacists in here to calculate those drugs every year and help the, help the clients out. So. So from what it sounds like, a lot of this stuff is incredibly hard for someone to navigate on their own and with changes in regulations and insurance policies and You know what, Matt, everything. this is, it's, it's, 
I mean, we t we do trainings all summer long for this, for every because every company, and there's 30 of them. Every company requires us to take their testing and get at least a 90 percent on their testing, and these tests are ridiculously hard mm -hmm. to get appointed to sell them. And I mean, we still get stumped every now and then. And I mean, we we have we become experts in this, and and we get calls from agents all over the place who test us, you know, who, who don't know how to do something and ask our advice. Um, you know, we've been doing it for, for so long now that we, we've kind of been become the trusted agents around here for Medicare. Um, Blue Cross actually named us one of their highest um, volume agencies for Blue Cross this past year. We're, we're number one in this area and number three in the whole um, five county area. So. I don't know what that means number-wise, and I would love to know who number one is, but <laughs> we're probably right behind. So one of the things I do is I write articles for some of the local newspapers, and, and I just wrote one. Um, I got a hold of, I, I like reading these boring things that come out. So there's an annual report of the Federal Supplementary Insurance Trust Fund. Like makes wonderful reading, right? Yeah, yeah. But every year they, they predict what the deductibles, the co-pays, and the costs are going to be. And they're, they're usually pretty accurate with it because what happens is at the end of the year, the prices for Medicare go up. So I just finished reading that a couple weeks ago. And uh, I'll, I'll predict what this says. Um, Part B of Medicare, which again covers 80%, uh, and it does not cover the hospitalization, uh, that is going to go up from 148.50 for 2021, and it's going to be a big one. They're predicting a, a 158.50 rise for next year. So seniors are going to be paying $10 more for that. The Part B deductible, which is 203, is predicted to go to 217. That's one of the largest increases we've ever seen. Um, the Part D, um, so I didn't really touch, well, I did touch on the Part D. That's the drug plan. Um, there are catastrophic limits. So when you're in a drug plan, um, when you hit certain levels, that's when the plan changes. So currently when you hit, your deductible is 445. So when you're on a drug plan, almost all the plans have a 445 deductible. That's going to go to 485 next year. That's, that's a big increase. Um, and they're saying that that's probably going to go in, up because of uh, I mean, that's going to cause a lot of problems for us Medicare educators. You know, why is why are all my prices going up? The threshold um, for seniors on a drug plan, when they hit, for 2021, when they hit $6,500 of drugs costs out of pocket, uh, they go into what the, what's called catastrophic, where, uh, where um, the Medicare plans will pay 99% of the costs after that. It's going up by uh, about five hundred dollars. It's going to seven thousand fifty next year. Again, these are some of the biggest increases we've ever seen, and I mean, we we can all guess why, and that's because Medicare is running out of money. Um, you know, unfortunately, the politicians over the years have been borrowing money out of out of uh, the Medicare program because we're all paying into it, and there was plenty of money there, so they would borrow the money to do whatever they did, and they didn't pay it back. So now we're all stuck with, you know, picking up those costs that were, I guess, stolen out of, out of the Medicare system. So that's my thoughts on Medicare going into next year. Uh, again, we're a free enrollment center, so we don't charge anything for our services. We get paid by the insurance companies to help people out, and, and we help a lot of people out for Medicare. And Any? speaking of helping people, actually, I was going to bring up a, a testimonial from a few years ago. And um, I started my business in 2016. I actually met Ron through the Newtown Business Association, through you know just going to the breakfast meetings and the business card exchanges, and we got to talking. And this was at a time when I wasn't paying myself a salary. It was the first couple of years of starting and operating my business, and I had no income at that point. Also had no health insurance because I was just up at that age where I was being dropped off of my parents' plan. I think it was like 25 or 26, and you were actually able to help me find really good health insurance with a um, with a deductible of zero dollars per month, 
and it was something that normally would have costed me like three hundred, three hundred fifty dollars a month for an HMO policy. So, um, are there still those same opportunities available for lower income Better than individuals? Ever. So yeah, that brings us into the next topic, which is the under sixty five people. In Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania pulled out of the federal marketplace last year, and now we have our own marketplace called Penny. When you go to Penny, some people find it easy, some people find it confusing. We are what they call an elite agent with Penny, which you get to that status when you hit over 100 clients that we've helped. Um, we're, we're actually over 2,000 clients that we helped, but so we, we have blown that out of the water. We're at the level where when people call Penny for help, Penny actually will forward them to us to, to help. Um, again, we don't charge anything. And what has happened this past year because of COVID, there was a lot of money dumped into the subsidy marketplace. So because of these increased subsidies, statistically across the country, we're finding that 51% of the people are paying zero for their health insurance now. 75% are paying less than $50. And I'm finding the same statistics here when I help people out. Um, and it goes by income as to what you pay. It goes by your age, it goes by your income and your household size. We can calculate that in literally two or three minutes as to what it would be. But you have to guess what your income is going to be to figure out how much subsidy money you're going to get and then apply it to the cost of any plan that you choose. People are always under the impression, we still see it today, that, oh, I don't want that government insurance. I don't want to get it from the government. You're not getting it from the government. You're just getting subsidies from the government to go buy whatever you want. Yeah. Around here, Blue Cross is, um, they were the only player in town for the last few years. A couple other companies came in last year. Uh, they don't have great networks. But this year looks like we're going to get some good competition. The, the, they haven't announced what the plans look like yet. They haven't announced the costs yet. You know, we hear these promises every year, but I mean, Blue Cross is certainly the big player around here. And every year they'll tweak their plans a little bit, but, but for the most part, people are relatively happy with the Blue Cross plans. We don't charge for this. It's a free service. And, and at this point, I think we've seen it all. So when you come in and there's a unique problem, we know where to steer you. Again, it's the ultimate choice is up to you, but we will certainly save you hours and hours of um, figuring it out yourself, and we'll point you in the right direction, mm -hmm. and we'll help you enroll. Hopefully they'll use us to enroll, because that's how ultimately we stay in business. And everybody that comes in here, um, usually is referred to us so you know that that's how we grow this business is is by getting people to refer to us yeah okay i wanted to thank you for having us in here today ron from insurance shops down here on uh Bustleton pike in feasterville i want to thank kelsey jordan behind the camera for uh taking the time to come out and Good get job. this all set up to videotape and uh to edit this and i want to thank you the viewer for watching us again on this October 2021 episode of All Around Newtown. Make sure you follow the NBA on Facebook, Instagram, and also subscribe on YouTube. So that way you can stay in touch with all of the newest All Around Newtown videos and all other video uh, offerings coming from the Newtown Business Association. And we will see you next month on All Around Newtown. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Thanks, Rod.